guys, Victoria from Strymon here. Welcome back to another Tech Corner. Today we'll be taking a look at a new feature that was added in Cloudburst's latest firmware update, which is the all new custom mode. On Cloudburst, custom mode lets you use a multi-switch plus to remotely access two presets, as well as remotely toggle the freeze or infinite feature. Let's take a look at how this works. Before we begin, be sure you're using the latest Cloudburst firmware. Check out the link in the description below for instructions on updating your Cloudburst. To start, we need to configure Cloudburst's EXP jack to work with Multiswitch Plus. First, connect power to Cloudburst while at the same time holding down its foot switch. Hold for at least two seconds until the LED starts blinking. From here, turn the decay knob all the way counterclockwise to set the MIDI channel to one. The LED will turn green. After that, Turn the pre-delay knob to either the green or amber position. This selects the MIDI out option, and either of these will work. Then, turn the mix knob all the way clockwise to set the EXP MIDI jack to MIDI mode. The LED will turn blue. Once you've done all that, press the foot switch to save these settings and exit. From here, we can configure Multi-Switch Plus to work in custom mode. Start by connecting a TRS cable from Cloudburst EXP MIDI jack. Connect the other end of that cable to any of Multiswitch Plus's jacks while at the same time holding down the C foot switch. Multiswitch Plus's three LEDs will blink green when the foot switch is released. Now, the A and B foot switch will each recall two presets. Press each foot switch to engage the preset and press again to bypass Cloudburst. The C foot switch will work to engage the freeze slash infinite mode on Cloudburst. Freeze mode will let you infinitely sustain reverb with any new notes played not added to the reverb. Infinite mode lets you sustain your reverb with new notes also being added to the sustain reverb trails. By default, the pedal is set to infinite, but you can switch between the two modes by pressing the A and C foot switches on Multi-Switch Plus for one second. Here's a quick demo so we can see how it works. We hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on using Cloudburst with Multi-Switch Plus in custom mode. If you have any questions or anything else you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments below or shoot us an email to support at Thank you for watching. <laughs>